In this example involving the photoelectric effect, we'll use the binding energy to calculate the wavelength that corresponds to the threshold frequency. Let's look at our problem. The minimum energy required to eject electrons from a certain metal is 235 kilojoules per mole. Find the longest wavelength in nanometers of electromagnetic radiation that can eject an electron. For this problem, we'll want to use the equation binding energy equals Planck's constant times the threshold frequency. Rearranging this equation, we can solve for the threshold frequency. And we can use the equation wavelength equals the speed of light divided by frequency to find the corresponding wavelength. We know Planck's constant, and the binding energy that we're given is 235 kilojoules per mole of electrons. We need to convert this binding energy into joules per single electron to use it in the equation above. So first, we can convert from moles of electrons to electrons using Avogadro's number. One mole of electrons is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd electrons. And then we can convert from kilojoules to joules using the conversion factor 1000 joules is equal to 1 kilojoule. If you plug this into your calculator, you should get 3.902 times 10 to the negative 19th joules per electron. We can plug these numbers in to the equation above to solve for the threshold frequency. And we should get 5.889 times 10 to the 14th, 1 over seconds, or hertz. Now we can solve for wavelength, which equals the speed of light divided by the frequency. Plugging in the speed of light and the threshold frequency, we find that the corresponding wavelength is equal to 5.09 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. The question asks for us to state the wavelength in nanometers, so converting this number to nanometers, we get 509 nanometers.